welcome 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 again to another tutorial video it's a boy elder and thing don't forget to subscribe hit the bell notification button and select all notification now in today's video we're going to talk about the five reverb that i use or you can use for dance or mixing vocals first on this list is h delay from waves and one of the real things i really like about this plugin it is very easy to use that's practically about it and it's very easy to dial in the type of sound that you really need now a little bit more into this plugin what i'm going to do is mute the background focus mute the radio select a section of the song and let it hear the delay baby me love your body your looks and your shame you not me oh mm. this particular reverb have four yeah four different analog settings they have high pass and low pass filter and modulation um effect on it and you can also get that lo-fi sound one of the presets i really like in this is in the special effects part on this telephone effect like when i'm doing um the delay throws you no know, i like to have like the throws in different type of tone so i tend to use that preset a lot when i'm doing using delay throws but uh, you often hear this delay on many dance uh, uh, mixes it's one of the go-to reverb sometimes it does not give me the actual sound that i really need for a particular song different variants of beats give different type of sound and picking the wrong delay or the delay sound for that particular song can be very you know devastating to hear the delay sound a little bit different or off to the actual song that you are mixing next on this list is d16 repeater vintage modeled delay and this delay was made by d16 audio and slate digital and again with this particular uh, plugin you have a little bit more um, knobs on it in which very easy to use one of the most prominent thing about this delay that i really like is you have a lot of preset names here where you can really start mixing your song and the delay model are different algorithm so you have a whole lot of um, types of delay in this delay plugin in which you have something of the echoplex delay you know space delay you have a whole lot of option here and these are delays that I really like that have a lot of options in which saying it's just one delay sound and that's about it to it. I mean, those delays tend to be, you know, sounding good, but, you know, having more options give you the, the, the time and effort to buy less delay plugin to get that actual delay sound that you probably might be in need of. Now, some basic controls is high and low pass filter. You have um, the color here, I'm assuming that's the drive or saturation of this plugin in which that is good. You have phase invert on it and you have the left and right channels also separated and you also have a mix knob in which that is great. You have different type of spread and analog. If you want to add analog sound to this particular delay also, you have top host, um, sync mode, Whatever case might be, you have a lot of controls on this particular delay where you can really go through and fine tune the, um, the delay as whole needs be for that particular mix. Next up on this list is Echo Boy Juno by Sontize. And I really love this plugin. You have the bigger brother to this plugin, but I really like this plugin because of its simplicity of the, the, the more advanced version of this plugin. And you have the mix knob here, echo time, the feedback, the type of, you have seven different algorithm here. You have high and low cut filter, you have input and output, you also have a saturation knob, and you have the type of mode if you really want it, wide, normal, or ping pong mode. You have you know, time, note, dotted, triplet, you know, basic functionality to get you where you want without um, all of the other things beneath this plugin in which this plugin sound really phenomenal i really like the the transmitter settings when i'm doing delay throws uh i, I like the ambient setting also i like the the, the 
the plex settings it has this dub sound like you hear in a lot of um 1980s reggae or, or 90s dance or reggae with that dub thing going on i really like that about this plugin and it's easy to dial in with this plugin um to get that sound we really need next plugin on this list is valhalla delay what i really like about this plugin too it is pretty much straightforward and have it, it gets your sound really fast now with other with, with delay plugins you now some of them that have made this list uh what i would have to do is some additional processing before and probably after the reverb the delay sound <laughs> that you're going to use on that particular mix however it is not a bad thing to add your own stuff to your delays to get that unique delay sound that you really need but it is also useful and uh, less time consuming using delayed sound with delays plugins with um, stuff that has been embedded in the plugin now you have different type of styles feedback with or why they really want the delay sound to give you more depth your mix your color and the type of color you know you can age the color I, I guess it has to do with the age like years or decades of saturation and you have diffusion in which that is awesome you have modulation effects and you have basic high and low pass filters of eq now within this same plugin you have different type of delays in which you know it slightly differs from the other delays algorithm that has been in other plugins so see then again i have more delays options from this plugin that hasn't been in the previous set of plugins that i have been using so with these type of plugin as said in previous look on the other plugins you know you have variants of delay sound so plugins like these I would advise you to buy and you know have them so you have different variants of um delay plugin instead of just getting one color from one delay plugin and then you have to be you have to be adjusting everything that you're doing next on this list is plugin alliance brainworks bx delay 2500 i use this plugin to record a lot because there's so much controls on it to really dial in the, the perfect delay sounds for the artists while recording now with this um plugin it have a little differ controls from the previous set of delays plugin in which you have internal docking still have modulation distortion have to do with saturation and you have mid-side processing also mix level you know high and pass filter you have this wah wah effect uh i tend to use that type of effect like whenever i'm doing like dub plates i like to use it i can really offset uh the, the the left and right signal a little bit anyhow you really like it you can link and unlink the channels also you have transient shaping for it also it has a lot of um i wouldn't say that much of advance the are use the word term advanced but it does have more controls to it it is plain as it can get it doesn't have any different algorithm it's just the one algorithm is just that you have to use the effect within this plugin to really get that sound that they really need so that again bx delay 2500 i really like this delay i use it a lot while recording especially when i'm doing dub plates you know artists tend to like a lot of delays are, are our older artists tend to like a lot of delays while recording their dub split so i really like to use this plugin doing dub plate and i pretty much use it doing during recording also in most cases i just leave it within the mix also because you know from it's not broken do not fix it and the artists tend to be okay with uh this this type of delay so i tend to leave it in the mix i just copy over the settings whenever i'm mixing and apply it also so pretty much whenever i use this plugin um 80 percent of the time it stays on my mix uh the, the other 30 percent or so you know i usually change out the plugin if it's not sounding the way i really like it after recording and so forth like that 
but there are times that I use other plugins other than what I have displayed here to do mixing and I hope I can um, added some more delays that I use on dance hall mixing so thank you again for tuning in it's a boy Elorado hope this video you know give us some clarity as to the type of delays that I use and by dance hall vocals so until next time it's a boy Elorado peace out